Hi guys, today I'm going to be taking out the SRS module on this 2017 Accord EX for crash data deletion and clearing or to reset the module. If you follow this channel, you may recall that I've been working to restore the SRS on this car since the accident. I've identified the faults to fix, replaced airbags and crash sensors and today the task is to reset the SRS module. Will the airbag lag finally go off? Now let's get this. The SRS module is located behind this panel under the dash and on some trains like this 2017 EX there's a screw that is right about here. That screw needs to come off for you to be able to take out this panel and because of that on this model you will need to remove the center console. I've seen some other trims that just have a push tab here on such trims like the Sport and LX you may not necessarily need to remove the center console so I'll be removing the center console to get to this screw. You also have the same screw on the passenger side. Tools you're going to need trim removal tools, 10 millimeter wrench, flathead and Phillips screwdriver and finally a really low profile T30 Tox wrench. I'm improvising by wedging in a T30 Tox bit with another bit here. The T30 is what comes out here. So you're really going to see the need for this when we start getting the bolts holding the SRS module. So the first thing we're going to do is to remove these silver trim pieces. Just grab and pull. It's held by clips one, two, three, four and five. Same for the other side. Next we want to remove this tray. To do that we'll remove each of these screws on either side. Once that's out this is ready to come out and it just comes out freely. It's going to be held by an electrical connector to this USB port which is going to be at the back. There's a tab here so you just push that and it comes free. Last thing holding it in place is this attachment for the wire. Push that out. And that comes out. Next thing to remove is this tray. There are clips here so you just pull it up. Just push this one as well and it comes out. We'll would remove this connector here. There's a tab which you can see here. Push that and it comes off. And then this clip as well and we drop this. Next we want to remove this whole piece pry up here. Pry up is just held by tabs. Pry that up. So here is separated. So for here starting from this edge. So the same goes on this side. We also pull here and then the whole thing from here. Put the car in neutral. This whole piece is now out. So we'll also remove one, two, three, and four size 10 bolts. Next, we'll need to take off the electrical connectors to this USB port and also this power outlet. So I'm doing this one by feel. There's a tab at the back here. Same goes for this power outlet. This is the tab. Now that we've pulled that, we need to take out this carpet. These are size 10s. Bolts are the same size. One other thing, you also have to remove this clip here. You just compress the ends and push them out. Turning over to the rear, we want to remove this trim piece. You may have to move your seat forward. Do the same on the other side. And that comes free. Next thing to do, there's a small hook here. Just pull on this. Same thing goes for the other side and that comes out. At this point you may just shift this back like so to expose the two screws I talked about. I'll just take out the entire center console assembly since I'll use this opportunity to clean the gunk in the center console area. Take out this screw. With that screw out you're able to just pull back. It's held by tabs. Next remove this push pin. With that out of the way take off this duct. And we'll also take off the same thing on the other side. So the duct is wedged into that hole. So you need to pull it down and then take it up. When you pull it down, it allows you to lift it up. So that it comes out like this. That's the SRS module right there. Before we disconnect the connectors, we'll disable the SRS system. So you just take off the negative terminal of the battery. Make sure you tuck that away. And then wait at least three minutes. So for this, you just depress this tab. And then pull on this and it comes out. Pull it out. Same goes for the left. 
module is held by Fox bolts um, getting the first one on the driver's side so just to show you the second bolt on the passenger side I'll get it with the same low profile ratchet contraption so one thing I haven't mentioned is that they are slits I don't know whether Honda put this intentionally there's another one here even though I've been able to get that bolt from there the last one hidden here I've just decided that it probably makes sense to just extend this and make this one whole slit when it's time for reinstallation that may be quite useful I'll just go in with my razor blade Uh, module is ready to come out. The module is out. And that's the part number. I'll send this off to a local service that deletes crash data from SRS modules as I don't have the equipment to do so. There are a couple services online that reset SRS modules after an accident. eBay has services running as low as 35 US dollars. Also there are other professional services like Safety Restore, My Airbags. I'll leave some links in the description. Just to note that on some cars if you decide to buy a new SRS module you will require it to be programmed. There are some cars where this is not needed. Few days later. The module is back and crash data cleared according to the service so we'll put this back and reinstall the most important thing about the reinstall is that you have to tighten all the bolts first then reconnect the connectors before you connect the battery failure to do it in this order could increase the risk of the airbags going off Before you talk down, you need to ensure you guide in all the bolts. Finally, tuck up the bolts using a crisscross pattern. Now that that's tucked up, we connect the connectors. So you push in and then push back this blue tab that locks it in place. Same goes for this one. We connect the air ducts. I'll just reconnect the battery. Let's see if the light goes out. The steps for refitting the rest of the center console are in exact reverse. Let's turn this on for the first time. Let's see. And the airbag light is off. The other thing I should say is that passenger airbag light is also off. Coming to think of it, initialization or calibration of the seat weight sensor is usually required. As you may recall, my passenger occupant detection system was on previously, but I think while I was fiddling with my MP808TS, I initialized the seat weight sensor. This was before I sent the module off for repairs. That said, I could still do a follow-up video just on how to initialize or calibrate the seat weight sensor. Let me know in the comments if you want to see this. You definitely want to do the SWS calibration because if if the light remains illuminated it just means the passenger airbag will not function correctly in the event of an accident this wraps up this series on how to restore or fix the SRS after an accident the individual steps are on the screen as well as a playlist that has all the separate videos in this series just in case you missed any like share subscribe if you've loved this catch you on the next one